Hello everyone and welcome to my next presentation on Chinese characters. This one will be about the character Shi. Shi, which means time, or I should rather say it is a morpheme in more complex words uh, that means time. So for instance, if you have the word Shi Jian, Shi Jian together means time. Shi alone doesn't mean anything, I think, in modern Chinese. But if you say, for instance, Xiao Shi, that is one hour so it's basically a morpheme standing representing time in more complex words the character that you can see over here in the middle of your screen this is its traditional version and its simplified version is as follows so as you can see this element over here has been basically taken away from the character and has been simplified into into this character over here and I chose this character this traditional one for the explanation because if you look at the traditional one you can better understand uh, why uh, basically the character is built built up of the elements that it is built up of so let me just show them to you this is the first one over here on the left and it means it is pronounced in the fourth tone and uh, in classical Chinese it used to mean the sun as in the sun in the sky and so this is the semantic element and it points to the meaning semantic element and it points to the meaning of the character as a whole and this right side right part of the character over here this whole part one two three four five six this today is pronounced s in Mandarin, and uh, it is its meaning is a temple, like a Buddhist temple. But again, it's let me just put this here. This is the phonetic element. Its meaning has nothing to do with the meaning of the character as a whole, but it is the phonetic element of the character. So that means that its pronunciation s points to the pronunciation of shi. Today, the pronunciation of si and the pronunciation of sh of this character shi um, is different. Still, it is possible. I mean, if you if you know a little bit about characters, if you see this element over here, you would expect pronunciations like shi. But um, in the past, when this character was created, the pronunciation for si for this element over here was probably much much closer to the pronunciation of the character as a whole so that's why this element was chosen now as you can see by looking at the simplified character you don't know how to like there is nothing in the simplified character that would point to the pronunciation because this element over here this one is pronounced twin and so you know it has nothing to do with uh, shi. Um, the only thing that points to the meaning still is uh, this element over here which still is the same as it was in the or as it is in the traditional character let me show you how to write this character so fairly straightforward writing you start with the left element you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one more time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty much it. So I hope to I hope you like the presentation and I will see you in the next video.